you've been through why you got scars hi my precious angels today I'm going to be using a morph palette and I'm going to be copying James Charles eye makeup which I saw in a photo that he did which was quite recently and I thought that the photo looks so lovely it looks so high quality and amazing and the makeup looks so good that I just wanted to recreate it in my own way because I know that the James Charles palette is sold out and they have this morph palette which is pretty good as well for creating those kind of looks so I'm looking forward to making this video and using this morph palette <laughs> today I'm doing my eye makeup I've done the rest of my makeup but yes I'm dressed up as clueless today look <laughs> now beginning with this morph palette I'm going to be using the shade glazed which is this one and this is going on my inner corner and on my eyelid as well I'm out in like a forest area right now because I feel like filming outside is so much nicer than filming inside but yeah I'm a like freak when it comes to lighting like I'm pretty sure every youtuber secretly is like the lighting needs to be good for a video if you're gonna create the video and for me I literally feel like I need to find such good spots that's why the spots that I go in always change now I'm using Inglot which is sparkling dust and this is like a highlighter and I'm putting this on the inner corners of my eye it's such a good highlighter this one I recommend it for everyone out there I went to Beautycon and I found Inglot this highlighter I literally saw it and fell in love straight away it looks so pretty I don't know something about it just looked amazing when I tried it on I was like oh my gosh I have to get this I only bought one but I wish I bought more of them I feel like gradually when you start doing makeup you get better and better like I feel so proud of how far I've come from doing makeup because when I used to begin I was not uh, nearly as good as the way I am now but I hope that I can still improve like to James Charles extent because he can do makeup so well some people do makeup amazingly now I'm going in with the shade brassy which is this shade on my fluffy brush I'm going to be doing my eyelid. What would us women do today without makeup? Literally, we feel like makeup is like a big blessing to us. Imagine if we were like in the olden ages and like we didn't have makeup. I'm pretty sure if we didn't have makeup, all our skin would look so much better. Oh look, a dog came to join me. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> Now I'm going in with the shades Glossy and Flirty, so this one and this one. And I'm going to be packing this in on my eyelid to deepen up the beautiful effect of this eyeshadow. It's so, it, the pigment is amazing. I absolutely love it. Now I'm going in with Brew to deepen it up because I feel like in the photo, James Charles, it looks quite deep way that the colors go you know it looks like it's been deepened up quite a lot so that's the effect that I'm trying to get and then blend it in I'm going in with Brassy and I'm going to just put this on my lower line, you know, underneath my eye, <laughs> with a slanted brush so it doesn't go everywhere too much. Sometimes I feel like photos look more high quality than real life, but like life is pretty high quality to be fair. It is real life. And then blend that out. Now we're going back in with the colour brew and we're doing this on our lower lash line. 
and we're using our slanted brush and we're going to put it on our eye to give it a faded effect so it looks like from a lighter colour to a darker colour And then get your fluffy brush and blend that through just very lightly so it doesn't get all messy just like very gently blend it now I'm going to be doing liquid eyeliner so I'm going to start by using my glam eyes by Rimmel London and I'm just going to be outlining my winged eyeliner on my outer eye <laughs> Then I'm going to be using Urban Decay Perversion, which is a waterproof fine point eye pen, and I'm going to be finishing this off. Now it's time for mascara. I'm just gonna skip this bit um, because everyone knows how to do mascara and I'm going to also put on eyelashes. And I'm also gonna put black eyeliner in the inner corners of my eye as well. And then, um, yes, then I'll show you the finished look. And now after putting eyelashes, mascara and eyeliner on, on the inner corner of my eye, not on my waterline because it just doesn't suit me and I feel like it makes your eyes look bigger when you don't do that. I'm going to be using this Mina brown lipstick and I'm going to put this on my lips to finish off the look. Such a nice lipstick. Goes with all the browns. This is like such an autumn -y look but it's totally coming to winter now. And there we go, this is the finished look. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. So much adoration for James Charles, like I support him so much. <laughs> or her, I don't know if I should say her or him. Like, yeah, I should probably say her, but <laughs> I don't know which one she or he prefers. I Probably her, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> So thank you for James Charles for inspiring this look today and thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this makeup tutorial remember to give me a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot and also remember to subscribe for weekly videos every single Thursday because I upload every single week and click the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time I upload a YouTube video. And yes, thanks for watching, bye!